What's going to guys, so if you missed the video, we did a Bilstein leveling kit on my 21 F-150 and even though it did raise the front higher than advertised, it did not completely level the truck. We still have about a one inch rake, meaning the rear of the truck is sitting about one inches taller than the front, which I know a lot of people do like that little bit of a rake look gives it that aggressive I'm about to pounce on you kind of stance but at the same time it's just not my cup of tea it's not my style right I like my trucks to be either perfectly level or sitting just a little bit lower in the rear it's quite simply just the style and the look that I prefer if this thing is anywhere close to the new GM trucks it's super super easy to swap the shackles out you have adjustability and then if you want to return it to stock it takes like 20 minutes and you're done let's get this thing back to the farm check it out hopefully gonna have an easy install right, so here's our before measurement sitting right at nine and a quarter all right i'm gonna be honest i'm a little confused because these are for this truck but if you see i moved it down to the second one because at the top one it was literally lower than this and hitting that we obviously can't let it ride like that that's not gonna fit like that's clearly too wide so I don't know how much at the beginning of this video I ended up having to cut out because we're actually not going to be doing drop shackles. We are going to take the rear blocks out because I just got done trying to install these and they do not fit. I'm sure I showed you all a little bit of a clip. The bottom do not fit. They're resting on the top of the bed. Just, these don't fit. I don't know if they sent me the wrong one or if they changed something for the 21 plus. I highly doubt. Maybe they just designed these incorrectly i have no clue but this is not going to work but we are going to be making the truck sit proper today so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the rear blocks and i think that should probably make it sit pretty much perfect these are going to be a 13 16 and you're probably going to want a cheater bar to get them broken loose Now you just want to take your jack, put it on that lower leaf spring, and we're going to jack it up until we can slide that rear block out. Oh, wow. Went way higher than I needed to. Now if you see, there's two dimples right here. There's also two in the bottom of the axle. So I'm going to clean that off real quick, but then when we lower it down, we just got to make sure the axle doesn't shift or we can shift it into the correct place just by basically grabbing the tire and twisting it back and forth and getting the axle to line up properly. They're just not lined up, they're sliding a little bit. Whew. All right, please, for the love of everything, have enough threads to reuse. Oh yeah, we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. I'm going to spray these off. Probably should have cleaned them while I had them out because they just got a bunch of surface rust and grime on them. I'll take the WD-40 and spray them though. and check it out let's get a quick measurement so right at eight inches so dropped it an inch and a quarter eight inch in the rear eight and three quarters in the front i think that's going to be pretty much perfect let's get this thing outside and see how she looks all right guys well here she is and i think it looks pretty much perfect that was definitely the right move doing this definitely makes me want to take the steps off i feel like that will complete the look but at the same time i'm on gravel so much and it's slinging rocks like crazy with the gladiators and i feel like the steps are the only thing saving my paint especially all this aluminum body i feel like it's just going to be destroyed so i don't know y'all comment down below should we take the steps off and risk it or should we try to save our paint and keep the steps on there either way drop in the rear one and a quarter 
I think it's perfect, dude. I think it is perfect. It's got the stance that I like, and I know it's not going to be for everybody, but this is just the way that I prefer them. It's just, it's just looking right. That was probably the easiest block removal I've ever done. That was super, super easy. Was able to retain all the factory hardware, so it's literally a free modification. You don't have to pay a single dime to uh, to do this. Just honestly 30 minutes of your time and you should be able to knock this out no problem whatsoever so i guess i should have just started off by uh doing the block delete but i wanted to do the drop shackles and we're just gonna roll with it since that didn't work we're gonna go ahead and you know just keep this video rolling but uh yeah i think it's like i said to me it's in perfect now it's very aggressive i do want to take the steps off now because it's looking a little short Mm, I don't know. It's risque, but it definitely would make it look, I think, perfect. But the main question now is, did we ruin it by lowering the back? Are we going to hit the fenders if we flex? Because I think next weekend, me and Lauren are head down to um, the trailhead, and we're going to do some off-roading. So I guess, man, I've been chewing these things up already. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just, 5 old things. I'd be romping, and it'd it, it just be spinning the tires. So, um yeah, rip gladiators. All right, guys, well, I think that answers that. Y'all couldn't see it on the other side, but it totally tucked this tire going up the hill on the opposite side that y'all were viewing. So I know for a fact we totally clear. It is close. Ain't no doubt about that. It is close, but we totally clear. It tucks up inside the fender well. <laughs> so we should be totally good to go. You see the angle. It's gonna go inside the fender. I might can move it to where it actually tucks in, but yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. Still got a ton of flex, so if you're worried about that, I'd say don't sweat it. You're still good. Oh, 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 oh.